Jeffrey and Caitlin always remember a happy marriage is about three things. Compassion, trust, and respect. The minute that Jeff came into Caitlin's life, I knew it was the one. And I'll never forget from the very beginning, Jeff understood Caitlin and had this ability to listen to her, to hear her, and actually give her valuable advice, perspective, all of the above. And it's everything that I could ever imagine for my best friend. So again, thank you, Caitlin, for marrying my son. Uh, I can't wait to see our grandchildren. I know they're gonna be really athletic. I mean, this woman can still pole vault. It's a tight family, it's a great family, and I'm really looking forward to all the benefits of watching you guys grow together. So we love you as a family. We're delighted with the marriage. Thank you all for coming tonight. I could not be any happier for you that you have found each other. Jeff, continue to honor, respect, love, support, and cherish the woman she is through good times and challenging times. A little over six years ago, I sat at my parents' kitchen table with my mom and my sister Emily, and I told them about the girl that I was going to marry. I had never spoken to her before, and it's funny to think about now, but back then I was deathly afraid to approach her. <laughs> After weeks of ridicule from my family, disguised as encouragement, I made up my mind that I was finally going to go talk to this girl. I thought about what to say, I planned it out very carefully, and then when that day came, I completely chickened out. But then the funniest thing happened. As I was getting ready to leave the gym that day, Caitlin came up to me. She introduced herself and we became very close very quickly. And when I finally built up enough courage to ask her out on a date, she said no. I think a quote from our favorite character from our favorite show, Jim Halpert from The Office, summarizes it best. I was a guy who had a crush on a girl and I had to do the hardest thing, which was just to wait. But I think even then I knew I was waiting for my wife. Jeffrey, I have had a smile on my face from the moment I met you. You're my rock, my support, my light, my laughter, and my life. I have looked to you in every moment of our years together for everything and anything. You have always been my person from now and until forever, you will continue to be just that. You have loved me, inspired me, supported me and humored me in everything I have set out to do. Life with you is complete and I could not have imagined a better man to share this life with. Throughout our relationship, I have asked you on countless occasions to make me pinky promises, including one to make me laugh no matter what. And now in front of our friends and family, I will make the most important pinky promise of our lives to you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I promise to support you, love you, value you, listen to you, and grow with you. I promise to always remember that laughter is life's sweetest creation, and I will never stop laughing with you. But most of all, I promise to be your true companion always, for, our, for one lifetime with you could never be enough. As your best friend and partner in crime, I promise to always cherish your ambition, creativity, and beauty. I promise to always be in your corner, even when you're wrong. I promise to always stay up to date on every Bravo TV show storyline and character arc, and even to root for the Packers as long as they're not playing the Giants. I promise to always make you laugh and to always remember that what's mine is yours, except for my PlayStation, that's mine. <laughs> I promise to always be the best version of myself, the best husband and someday the best father. But most of all, I promise to love you fiercely and tirelessly in all of your forms now and forever.
And so now, by the power vested in me, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Jeff, you may kiss your wife. wonderful. You are, I love you both to death. God bless. Thank you. Caitlin, seeing you, Jeff, throughout the years and your relationship and what it's grown into, something that's very special. Uh, I'm grateful to be a part of this day um, and, and to be here and celebrate with you guys. So, congrats, guys. Love you guys. Cheers.